So today we're going to do a realistic Angels rebuild, which who knows what could happen. I mean, I might have to trade Otani. Currently, the Angels in real life are in second place, but it's already been said that if the Angels aren't a competitive team by the deadline, Otani will be traded. And of course, I got to follow that rule too. Looking at this Angels lineup, I think in real life, they're, they're off to a pretty decent start. I think they're second in the West right now. But when you look at the other teams like the Astros and the Mariners who have gotten off to slow starts, can the Angels keep this up? The good thing are the good thing is that they're winning games but like i said can they keep it going so this is currently what we've got going on with the team right now and then the lineup this is what i've got going on here i'm gonna get ohapi and neto into the team i know in real life ohapi went down with a uh, shoulder injury and neto just keeps getting banged up getting hit by pitches taking pitches off the hand um yeah and so i know a couple players are also injured in real life as well but we're gonna we're gonna rock like this for the start of the year and just kind of see what happens you know i don't i don't really know what to expect it might be good i'm letting everything just everything's in the hands of mlb the show which i guess i could call up ryan to but realistically do i want ryan to in the team not really not really and um, i'm trying to see like prospect wise i know david fletcher got like dfa'd recently joe adele's off to a crazy start but is he just the guy that's going to be able to mash at the triple a level not the major league level all right so we're at the deadline we're in first place and kind of what i expected the thing is looking at this we need to make some trades but i can't really go too overboard so detmers and griffin canning are kind of struggling detmers kind of the most so i'm thinking we could potentially look to find maybe just a, a fifth starter it's not that i want to send detmers down it's just i i, I would like to possibly get someone new matt moore's probably going to get dfa'd aaron loop surprisingly doing well even though he's only pitched nine innings so i don't have the great greatest confidence there so there's that i would like to get a reliever just just in case and then offensively i would like to add to the bench that's kind of the big thing there um the team's doing okay i think taylor ward needs to get out of that spot and urshela is struggling and he's on a one-year deal so i'm not really too worried about him and these two are struggling but we've already committed to them so they're gonna stay with the team so what i'm thinking here is we're probably gonna shift a couple things around and i, I don't i don't really know what to do here um let's see what's available on the block really quickly lazardo trace thompson is as well ramon urias there's a couple names here that interest me for sure jesus sanchez huh that's an interesting one edwin rios doesn't really i don't know i definitely i definitely want a a bullpen arm i'm just gonna dfa matt moore right now we'll get rid of him and you're probably like that's not realistic yeah it was if yeah it would be you got a 33 year old who's struggling mightily yeah dfa him um honestly i, I would dfa a loop but he's actually doing well he's only pitched what nine innings four innings what was it nine innings ah that's probably why we're gonna be in trouble soon um chris rodriguez needs to go down to triple a and then who else needs to get sent down based on the year that they're having? We'll keep Brett Phillips up for now. Joe Adele, I'll call up because he's doing fairly well. And Jake Lamb is struggling, so I'll send him down. I know Jared Walsh is as well, but I might, I might do this and just kind of leave it like that. So right now, offensively, I would like to add to the team but who who would i send down i kind of like urshela for now ranifo's mashing versus lefty so i can't take him out adele let's give him a shot and then brett phillips i guess we could get rid of brett phillips and add to the team offensively but i think the main focus is let's try to find maybe like an older starter that could maybe just like a rental for the rest of the season and then a bullpen arm for sure i think that's going to definitely boost us up for the rest of the year so let me see who's in last place um the white Sox are by quite a bit and then so are the pirates the rockies the reds and the nationals so let's go see what we can find all right the newest little met we're gonna send kevin padlow and anthony mulrine so he's actually having a pretty decent year after 61 innings he's gonna be a rental but i could i I'm okay with that. All right, really, the only pitcher I've seen that like could potentially interest me would be Yanoa, but is he much better than what we currently have? Let me like, I don't, I don't think so. And um, the only other one was like the Rays with Chirinos, which is potentially an option. What I did was just, I tried to see who was like chilling in AAA. I kind of want Rodolfo Castro. He's only played 18 games in the majors, hasn't played at all for the Marlins. They traded for him. I kind of want him. De La Cruz is also there, which is an interesting one. Um, in terms of other players that I see that like I want to keep it somewhat realistic is Anduhar, not really. Um, Trinan's available, but I don't, I don't, I don't think that would be something that would really be worth trying to get right now. And then looking at the rest, Bobby Dahlbeck, maybe, maybe, 
Luis Gil, is he is he part of the the Yankees plans? I can't I can't really imagine that. What else we got here? Hicks, I don't want that contract. You know, Kittredge potentially could be an option. Patino could also be an option. I don't really see him maybe being a move for the or like part of the Rays future. Chad Green's chilling there. And I think that's that's kind of all I've seen. Trevor Rosenthal, not really interested in there. Um, but yeah, I, there's just I'm just like seeing these names. Randy Dobnik. You, you, you see, you see the situation. I mean, there's not really much that interests me. So looking at the team, I could potentially look to try to add like maybe a, a piece offensively. Cause like, is Jared Walsh the guy at first base for us moving forward? With him regressing, is he the guy moving forward for our team too? I don't know. I definitely, I definitely need a pitcher. I feel like that's something that like needs to happen. I just don't know who. Yoni Trinos was on the block. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I know in real life he's been, he's been helping out the Rays a little bit. Or is it Beaks or both of them? I think it's Chirinos. I think it's Chirinos. Um, but he's on the block. And if I'm keeping it realistic within this save, I'm gonna go after Yoni Chirinos. I'm gonna give him Thice because they're looking for a first baseman and then a low rated pitching prospect. So there it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move Detmers to the bullpen and then we'll rock like this for the rest of the year. I, again, it, it could go poorly, but this is just season one. And I mean, we still gotta see what picks we got in the draft. And this, this was one of the names that I was looking at in the draft. Mackenzie Turley, shortstop, looks really good, right? 89 potential and looking at elsewhere in the draft, there were a couple good names. There really were. There, there were some names that I was like, dang, I would have liked to have them. Lindsey Roush looks pretty good. Or it could be Rush could be rush um but i would say we did fairly well on the pick that we got um i'm just i'm just gonna say i think i think we did fairly well uh we got a generational talent jj in man our yeah in man we'll call him jj fielding wise absolutely atrocious righty with some speed good hitting but i mean generational talent and we had the 11th pick he fell all the way down to us at the 11th pick um we also got gary martinez with 81 potential i like the looks of him he looks like he could be pretty decent this one was a little bit of a reach but you know what or a stretch we didn't have a second pick so this is third fourth fifth sixth so yeah these two are great and all but they're 50 overall so realistically you're looking at our whew, our generational talent Oh, I love that. I love that. And then Gary Martinez, realistically, maybe him. He could potentially help us out. But those hits per nine, not ideal. Just the first two looking pretty good. So we ended up winning the division 94 and 68. We're taking on the winner of the wild card, which, OK, that's fair. Um, league leaders Patrick Sandoval had the best winning percentage. Estevez had the most saves and Otani had the best war. And offensively, Otani and Trout kind of led the league in a few different categories. So I kind of like the looks of this. We'll see what we can get in the offseason. But the big thing here is we're going to have to bring back Otani. And I should have offered him an extension, um, but I didn't. So there's that. So hopefully he resigns with us. Hank earned award for Mike Trout. We have an MVP for Mike Trout and then a batting title for Mike Trout. So Otani was also in the mix for the MVP. On the other side, it was Pete Alonso. Scherzer and McClanahan are your Cy Young winners. Mike Trout, batting title. Tyler Stevenson, batting title. Reliever of the year goes to Edwin Diaz. Kenley Jansen, and then rookie of the year goes to Josh Young. Okay, why why couldn't he do that when uh, we rebuilt the uh, the Rangers? But okay, and then uh, Jordan Walker wins it on the other side, which okay, all right. So looking at our team, I'm assuming oh it actually stayed the same. All right, so Jaime Berea, yeah okay sure. We've got Reed Detmers who brought it down a little bit, which is good. I think the big issue is just we gotta let him develop, and that's not really an issue. We just gotta be a little patient with him. Aaron Loop pitched only 15 innings, so if we can limit the innings, he might be useful. Denilson Lamette was pretty solid. Again, a rental. We didn't really pay too much for him. I like it. Aaron Wa Andrew Wants, has he even pitched for the for the the uh Angels this year? What's what's he up to this year? Let's take a look at Andrew Wants. He has. He's pitched 11 innings. Oh, he's actually he's actually been not bad. Okay. All right. Didn't know he was in the bullpen for them. Uh, Jose Quijada, six innings pitched, was pretty good. We got Jimmy Hergit and then Estevez. Was Herg did Hergit get injured this year? I think he did. Uh, we've got Otani's numbers there, pretty good. Tyler Anderson, not bad. I don't know if he's gonna make it. Thirteen million for the next two, or he's gonna make thirteen million for the next two years, but I don't know if he's gonna make it two more years in the team. Sandoval, I mean, I can't trade him just because I want to trade him, but like realistically, I don't know how he's gonna 
fair if he's already regressing now he might just be one of those where like third season we dfa him or just put him in triple a um sandoval had the best winning percentage i believe in baseball but um this was okay as a three i can i can get behind that griffin canning was all right and then yoni chirinos we picked him up was pretty good so down here like we do have sam bachman um but that's you know chase silseth i believe was recently called up in real life could potentially get him involved i believe tucker davidson's also been worked out of the pen in real life so we could look to use him jose suarez is here and we're gonna avoid tapera at all costs so we'll keep that in mind um looking at the team down here david fletcher is probably a piece that i know they dfa'd him in real life and uh i might i might see if we can flip him for something uh realistically it's gonna be you know maybe a rental maybe someone like uh you know some someone like a i don't know maybe like a bench player like something like that uh how joe adele do at the majors one for ten okay yeah uh jake lamb got sent down wasn't doing much okay so looking at the team off the bench urshela struggled not gonna bring him back but um yeah thanks for the thanks for the help uh stassi was bad renifa was nasty we only had him versus lefties Let's let's keep it that way. We've got Brett Phillips who struggled, and then Andrew Velasquez came up for Jake Lamb, I believe. Man, Taylor Ward's regressing, which sucks. I'll probably keep him. Arbitration-wise, he's going to be cheap, and he could help us. Realistically, we've got that generational talent, so we just got to wait for him to be ready. Could potentially help us out next year, so if we can get one more year out of Taylor Ward, that'd be great. Trout was unbelievable, 40-40 season with 10 triples. Like, crazy numbers. Uh, Otani's numbers were 40-40 season as well insane we've got hunter renfro who struggled but again one year deal that's perfectly fine 27 home runs can't can't be upset with that rendon okay sure yeah not a bad season at all uh brendan drury i'll take those numbers for sure we actually had a really good season um jared walsh kind of struggled the first baseman could be could be something we look for for sure and then obviously our, our rookies gotta be patient with them so it's postseason time i'm not really expecting too much we are taking on the astros so let's see what we do here we are still alive i'm not gonna let chirinos pitch but we'll go to otani let me make sure he's still in the, the dh spot he is and otani keeps us alive awesome 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 all right so now let's go oh, man I might just go like like this for the postseason now and see see what happens. So lineup wise, it stays the same. And it taking on the Guardians, it's gonna be a tough matchup for us. We get swept. Wow. Okay. Not ideal. Who's gonna win the World Series season one? Phillies defeat the Guardians. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Interesting for sure. Okay. So now. This is gonna be the big one. Um, realistically, you're you're gonna pay him. You're gonna pay him a lot. Um, we'll give him 12 years. Seems pretty pretty crazy, but like, is this gonna get him to sign? So because I want to keep him here, I'm gonna offer him 10. Realistically, I know it's it's not a realistic move, but you're you're probably gonna give him a big contract, right? You're probably looking at eight years, six years, maybe like there's like eight years with some options or six years with some options but because i want to keep them the angels would keep them if they are a competitive team i feel like this is something that i'm gonna have to pay and realistically you're gonna have to pay otani a lot of money to stay around hunter renfro i don't think so um lamette potentially i'll bring back but i think all these guys i'm gonna move on and we'll we'll see what we can do in the off season so now i i guess i add fletcher back to the 40 man what is my 40 man looking like 32 right now we have the space to do it or 35 we have the space to do it might as well not lose them see if we can flip them at the trade deadline because is is anybody really going to want them in the offseason probably not but who knows who knows so let's let's see what we we can do in the offseason i think a first baseman would be something I'd, I'd like to get you know like a garrett cooper would it be too expensive tj crone potentially maybe a reese hoskins you know coming off of a acl injury probably would be a little bit cheaper and would look to just find someone that they can get game time from max muncy potentially could move to first base for us would it be smart to pay stupid money for matt chapman the issue is who would play first base for us can taylor ward play first base and then you know obviously rendon would rendon move to first base because like adding Matt Chapman coming off of the season he has right now 
could be a big move there. Hmm. But I, I think I think a first baseman like a Reese Hoskins would make more sense. So let's see what we can get. All right, for season two, obviously we've kept Shohei. We paid him quite a bit of money and um, I've, I've made quite a few transactions. A lot of them are like adding older-ish players to the team to just have depth pieces. I feel like that's what a lot of teams do. It's kind of like a triple A is like your, 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 your storage where you're just holding on to players just in case you have some injuries. And that's kind of what I've done here. So we've got Luis Sesa, Kyle Finnegan, we've got Mauricio Dubon, Michael Given, Seth Beer, Kevin Smith, and then, um, Shirt and Apostle, and that was it. In terms of like MLB players, I went for Max Muncy for a year. I, I tried to get Reese Hoskins. He signed a five-year deal. I only offered him a three-year deal. Brennan Jorge Alfaro is like a, a third choice catcher, just in case, you never know. Um, and then Will Myers and Matt Whistler. So those are kind of the, the players that we've got into the team this year. Pitching is going to stay basically the same, except for Matt Whistler's into the team. Oh, Denoso Lamed is also back. So we brought him back on a one-year deal. And if you look at some of the pitchers that we have in the farm system now, we've, we've got some depth. So just in case players start to regress or things just don't go as planned, we can we can turn to one of our, our relievers. You know, I feel like some of these guys could help us out as the season goes let's see here who's he's got deep potential so yeah i feel like we, we've got a little bit of depth now in terms of pitching which i normally don't do but we, we've got that going for us like seth beer alfaro just in case one of those positions don't do well we've got dubon this guy I picked up i like to pick him up just kind of as like a long-term piece because like he usually sits in free agency the first year he's around mid to low 60s he's got beat potential and actually develops pretty well so i figured let's pick him up instead i know he's a ranger at one point so yeah that's that's kind of what we've got going on here this is the team here uh will myers i wanted to get a better right fielder or just an outfielder in general but i just didn't like any of the options available and i didn't feel like lo locking up a long-term outfielder when i know that we have another outfielder in the team in uh j what was his name jj uh inman yeah so he needs to be in the team i don't know why he's not but um so we've got Neto, uh, Otani, Trout, Muncy, Ward, Myers, Rendon, Walsh, and Stassi, which is actually going to be Ohapi. And then you can kind of see the bench here. Um, I'm one player short. It's going to be Joe Adele. That's going to be my backup outfielder. And um, I, I hate to say this, but this guy kind of gives me what Joe Adele was supposed to be, right? Like the hype around Joe Adele was so high. The bat was good. The fielding was questionable. And he had decent speed, right? And if you look at what Joe Adele is, like you, the speed's there, the fielding's not there, and the bat was supposed to be good. It's just now we, we we might have a player that actually develops and does well. So like I said, Joe Adele, once he, I accidentally put him on waivers. I didn't mean to send him down to AAA. I kind of lost count of how many players I had on the MLB roster and accidentally sent him down. So once he clears waivers, hopefully he clears waivers. I'll call him back up and we should be good to go. Uh, lefty lineup kind of looks like this. Not too much changes. I think the only change is Myers comes out. Renifo goes in the right field, which I'm not too ecstatic about, but that's just what we're going to have to rock with. So yeah, that's the team. Um, I, I think that's kind of it. So yeah, let's do it. We're at the deadline. I'm going to do what every Angels fan wants to do. And uh, I'm going to DFA Aaron Loop because he is garbage. So let's just DFA him. And also let's just outright him to AAA or do I have to wait for him? Since he's been designated for assignment, must clear waivers before he sent attempt to pass through waivers. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do that. Send him to AAA, which means I need a pitcher. And I'm going to call up Jose Quijada. He's actually doing pretty well. He's only pitched 14 innings. The other pitcher I looked at was Jose Suarez. I do want to call up a lefty. And those are kind of the two that I would look to bring up right now just because yeah we don't have another one and the other guys that i have like michael Givens is regressing i was kind of hoping he would have at least held his rating but again he's also a righty so it's either quijada or suarez and they're, they're both pretty similar quijada has definitely pitched way less which is a little worry so if things don't go well we could always turn to suarez but um but yeah or suarez i should be saying and that should be the team so now quijada pops in right there otherwise um, Lamed is also struggling, but he's only pitched four innings, so it's kind of tough to judge him. But I guess if he's doing that bad, I guess we could turn to Soriano, who's ooh, not doing well, but he's only pitched 19 innings. Maybe Finnegan for now, or yeah, I guess I guess he was the one I, the one I would turn to. I got to add him to the 40 man. I think I do have a spot open, anyways. I think I have like one or two spots left open. So we'll add him to the the bullpen for now. We'll see how things continue to develop, and we'll, we st like I said, we we've got the depth to move things around. Berea is struggling 
for sure. We might we might have to look for like a Yoni Chirinos type signing once again, unless I have somebody, which I do have Chris Rodriguez. I do have Sam Bachman. Uh, it's most likely Chris Rodriguez then, based on what I'm seeing here, unless I go to Jose Suarez, which I could also do. I could also do because, yeah, we're going to do that. Where's Burry up? We'll send him down. He's on. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then we'll go to Suarez and see how he does. So a lot of changes in the bullpen, but they're needed. They're needed. And now we have maybe one extra lefty, but we, we should be fine. I know Chirinos is struggling a little bit, but we'll, we'll leave it as is. Lineup wise, I'm pretty happy with the team. Uh, realistically, the only thing I would like is like maybe a backup infielder um, just because actually hold on. Yeah. Because, like, Drury doesn't play shortstop. Brenifo, yeah, he could play shortstop, but not really. So, he's Andrew Velasquez is really the only weak link in the team currently. Like, we do have some pretty good bench bats in AAA. We also do have some pretty good bats in AAA in the lineup currently. So... I could just use one of them, but I feel like let's just see what's let's just see what's available on the market. Ooh, David Bednar. Oh, David Bednar, you say. A lot of pitchers. Rowdy Telez. I don't necessarily need that position though. So like it would it would be dumb to, to go out and do that. James Outman's an interesting one. Again, I don't see it being really realistic. The only way I would like be able to be like, yes, this is a realistic move, is that he is on the block in this like this universe, right? And I feel like, you know, like an Austin Slater would be a more realistic option. You know, an Espinal, another realistic option that we could go for. A Hampson, just because like, or like, you know, not even, I don't even think Oscar Colas would be a realistic option. Just because I feel like James Outman does have a future with the Dodgers in real life. I feel like that just wouldn't make sense. And the reason I would consider it, hear me out, is that if you look at all the metrics, you look at all the stats, even just, if you just watch Mike Trout play, he is not the same center fielder that he used to be. And even when he first started playing, he really wasn't the best of fielding center fielders. Um, he's always had a late a late jump on the ball and it's only gotten worse with age. Realistically, he needs to move to a corner spot fairly soon. And it doesn't help that we have an outfielder who can't field at all. So like maybe I move him to right field, but his arm is so weak. Man, that arm is really rough. Um. But yeah, I mean, Trout does need to move to one of the corner spots. And like we we have Otani and I can't really put, you know, Otani in a position because we've got him. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. I was kind of hope I, I really wish he had better fielding. Like even in the 50s, I feel like would wait would make a lot more sense. Um, I guess we could. Tr it's The arm is really killing. Maybe Trout in right field because he still does have a decent arm. So maybe Trout in right field. And then we we find a center fielder, but it just doesn't make sense to go out and trade for a big center fielder right now, just in case there is one available in free agency. And also realistically, we just won't have a lot of money. You know, we've, we've got Rendon, who's gonna make stupid money the next couple seasons. And we already have a Trout and Otani. Actually with Drury's contract expiring, Loop also, Muncie, um, Carlos Estevez, my, we, we might, it says we have 135 mil in salaries. We might actually going out and get in center field, not right now, but like going out and get in center fielder in the off season might make the most sense. And just right now, let me just see if we have a, let's see here. What do we got? Maybe a, like a little middle infielder that could help us out. Like nothing too crazy. Like Vidal Brujan's potentially an option, you know, a little bit of a high upside pickup. Also Espinal. I feel like Espinal makes a lot of sense. It's going to be a super cheap option and it kind of just works and I can't see him costing too much. Hits lefties well. I feel like we kind of need a lefty bat off the bench. Let me see. We've got Renifo, but he starts. Drew restarts. I mean, I guess we could just turn to Dubon. Dubon plays the infield too. I'm overthinking this. I might still go make a trade. So the Blue Jays are willing to trade Espinal straight up for Dubon, which, you know what? I feel like it's fine. They're looking for a center fielder anyways. And they're pretty similar in rating. They're the same age. I feel like that's just not a bad trade right off the rip and that allows me to send down Velasquez and that helps us out a little bit so we'll we'll send him down he's on waivers now that's perfectly fine now Espinal actually helps us out a little bit because I think I can change actually I think we're set and we just got that extra little bench bat that also arbitration which is pretty nice and he's actually had hitting pretty well this year so I think he'd be a good little contribution to the team so I think that might be it like I don't want to go too crazy I guess I could go out and try to get a better bullpen arm 
just based on the fact that like you know finnegan and quijada aren't necessarily like guaranteed to be good i could do that i could do that and there is there is david bednar available which would be a big pickup would be a huge pickup for the team i feel like that would be like, like that that's our closer right that would be a that would be a huge move for us arbitration for the next couple of years too ah uh, what did it say that the pirates wanted i guess i could have just clicked that on then and let's see what we got here so they want first a reliever first baseman catcher second baseman or pitcher uh i feel like we've got a couple pitchers we could throw their way like are they like really bad on pitchers they just really don't have they've got plenty of prospects so maybe maybe a second baseman first baseman Okay, okay, so they could use a first baseman. I have Seth Beer. I just feel like that's not a fair trade at all. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's not even fair in the slightest. So, like, I feel like it would be like Seth Beer. Maybe we throw them like some sort of prospect here. I don't really want to maybe like Levon Soto and then maybe like a, a low starting prospect or relieving prospect. So, someone like a Ivan Armstrong or Ivan Armstrong, something like that. I feel like that would be a little bit more realistic. So they get Soto Beer because, ah, man, but closers have been getting some pretty pennies lately. So maybe this isn't enough. Is it enough? Like Soto's off to a crazy good season this year. Seth Beer, what's Seth Beer doing in AAA right now? Pretty good season. Seth Beer most likely starts for them. Soto doesn't. He probably just sits in the farm system for a little bit. Jeremiah Jackson's 24. I guess I could... Maybe we go Jeremiah Jackson and then we'll give them maybe this one will be the the pitching prospect like Ivan Armstrong. And I feel like that's okay. So we give them a first baseman that would start for them. Jeremiah Jackson would be like the main piece here, which I I got to check the Angels prospects here. Let's let's take a quick little peek. Oh, Jeremiah Jackson has dropped for them. I did not realize that. Actually, Denzer Guzman? Did I even see that name? No, I don't even see that name for us. But he is number 6. So right now it's well, Ohapi and Neto are going to leave. So Cuero's most likely going to go number one. Bush, Bachman, Guzman, Werner Blakely, Palen uh, Palencia, Placencia, Placencia, not Palencia, Placencia. So I guess I could, I don't think it would be a top, I think like what, a top 15 prospect for Bednar, Seth Beer and Jeremiah Jackson. Yeah, I feel like that's a, that's a fair trade. That's a fair trade. All right, so Estevez, who's had a really good season as the closer. What has what Bednar been doing? He's with the closer as well. Maybe we, we just let Estevez keep this spot. Like, Bednar has been really good, but Estevez has been lights out. He's only blown two saves. I can't take him out of that spot. Um, I did send down Quijada, and this is what we're going to rock with as a bullpen now. I feel pretty good about it. I, I feel like getting Bednar is a big pickup. Maybe I underpaid a little bit, but I feel like that's still a pretty good trade. It's going to be close to a top 10 prospect. You're probably looking at what top top 10 no it'd probably be like top 15 prospect for a, a closer along with the starting first baseman and also like a, another relieving prospect so it's pretty fair i feel like those are the only two moves to make we're we're crushing the division right now all right and then this isn't realistic but i have too many men on the 40 uh or on waivers right now and i also have 41 on the 40 man so i can't put any i can't like remove anybody from the 40 man because i have too many players on waivers so i'm currently stuck in a situation where i have to get rid of a player and i have to trade for somebody so i'm just gonna see if there's anybody who needs a catcher um that's like the padres the padres could use a catcher and i'm just gonna take their lowest rated player that's like deep potential and isn't on the 40 man so this should work perfectly fine we'll, we'll dump him off and hopefully that guy didn't get added to the 40 man. He did not. So we're at 30, we're at 40, we're at 40 exactly. Perfect. That's all I had to do. I know it's not realistic, but the Padres actually did need a backup catcher. So it worked out for us. So there we go. That'll be the trade. Plus the Padres love to trade for a catcher. Three of them, four of them within a season. So I helped them out there. So I feel like that's it. There we go. The Royals had a generational talent in their uh, draft pick. Joe Woodard, a shortstop. We had a really late pick in the first round. So we had no chance of getting him i think that was it in terms of generational players i think i don't think i saw any others there's some really high picks uh high potential players in this in this draft class though there was a lot of good players and uh yeah it, it was it was a good draft class uh we ended up going with steven waylock as our first pick 65 overall it looks okay um 85 potential for our next one and garcia who was a reliever who looks like he just strikes out a bunch of people that's about it 76 potential for Dusty McVale. It just looks like he hits. That's really 
it, 96 potential, 78 potential, and 81 potential. Not as good as last year's with our generational talent. We finished the year 102 and 60, so another playoff appearance. League leaders wise, Shohei Otani was fantastic, along with Griffin Canning. Love to see that. And then offensively, Shohei led the league in home runs and runs, which is awesome. Awards wise, a Cy Young and an MVP. Yeah, love to see that. Love to see that for sure. Um, J. Ram and Judge finished the second and third spot in the MVP race. And Pete Alonso, back-to-back -back MVPs for him with Will Smith and then Willie Adamas. You got Strider and Otani, Cy Young winners. And J. Ram along with Jock Peterson. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen him win a batting title, but he did right there. Iglesias and Dylan Lee are your relievers of the year. Dylan Lee, really? Okay. Huh. Um, Nico Holsizer now with the Athletics won Rookie of the Year with 33 home runs. Pretty impressive, along with Tyler Soderstrom in second place. So two A's this season. And then you had Lonnie White Jr. with the Pirates win it. And Mackenzie Turley, a player we talked about last year in the draft, um, was second place in uh, Rookie of the Year. So this is going to look a little messy. I already know that. So Lamette needs to go. And instead, I think I'm going to rock with... Ooh, I think maybe... Do we have a... C could we rock with Chris Rodriguez? I mean, like, who else? Finnegan? Finnegan only pitched a little bit, but is it a long reliever that we're missing here? It is. And nobody here really... I guess... Oh, I guess we go Berea up there. And then instead of Lamette, we go with somebody else. So let's go with... How was Quijada? Didn't get a chance to pitch this year. Okay. Suarez. Ooh, not ideal. Um, I guess we go Finnegan. Yeah, we'll add him to the playoff roster, and then we'll send down Lamette. Lamette just didn't have it like he did last year, which is unfortunate. I'm assuming offensively things got changed up a little bit too. So we'll quickly take a look here. Drury, Espinal, Ward, Stassi, and Renifo. Nope, that's right. So that means, yep, oh, uh, you, you, you saw him. You saw him in the lineup. So Tyler Anderson, like I said, most likely going to be stuck to this like sixth man in the rotation role. If he can sit around this, I'm perfectly fine with that. He didn't regress too much this year, which is promising. Berea did struggle a little bit, so that sucks to see. Whistler wasn't as good as I would have felt, but he still wasn't terrible. And um, Wants, still still doing fairly well. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with him. I love to see that. Jimmy Hurry was fantastic once again. Finnegan really only pitched two-thirds of an inning. He didn't even get a whole inning this year. Um, David Bednar was really solid. And then Estevez did blow a few saves towards the end of the year, but was still really good, especially for a guy with deep potential. He's actually performing pretty well. Otani, love to see it. And I know Estevez is actually performing pretty well in real life also. I think he's like the A's closer for sure. Now, Otani was really good. Cy Young, MVP. We've got Detmers, who right behind him, fantastic season. Sandoval, also really good. So that one, two, three, love to see it. Chirinos, not as good, but then we have Griffin Canning, who went 11 and three on the year. So our one through four was really solid, and Chirinos wasn't as good, but as a five, I'm perfectly fine with that. Taylor Ward, I feel like is gonna be more of a bench bat for us moving forward. We do have that arbitration. I might as well pick it up. I still think he'll be pretty, pretty good for us off the bench. We got Brandon Drury, who mostly faced lefties and was fantastic. Like that's a huge season for him. Love it. Um, he does become a free agent. I'm not too sure how much money he's going to want, but if he can produce at this level, I feel like might as well keep him here, right? I believe he's the one that is the Angels fan that was really pumped that he signed with the Angels. That like that was his favorite team. Hey, Espinal, we've got arbitration. I feel like this is our middle infielder, like our like our backup. I feel like that's the move. We've got Max Stassi, who was kind of a freak off the bench, and then so was Renifo versus lefties. And we take a look at our starters. Will Myers potential went up, but overall went down. He came in, helped us up, helped us out. Like came into the leadoff role, got a 350 on base percentage. I'll take that for sure. Otani's numbers: 47 home runs, 32 doubles. I mean, can't ask for much more. That's pretty good. Trout still popping off, doing fairly well. Love to see it. Max Muncie, hey, I signed him for a season to help us out. He stayed in LA, LA, and uh, helped us out. I mean, like he was solid 31 home runs with 100 rbis love it rendon i don't expect him to be this good that much longer but great year great season jared walsh really good season also and then jj got his debut only had 73 at bats but hit 342 with a 412 on base percentage and a 919 ops i mean look at him he is insane and then neto and Ohapi are struggling. Ohapi's potential did go down, which is a little unfortunate. But I feel like this is our lineup. Like, yes, we may change things up a little bit. Like, 
we could go trout to right field we sign a big name center fielder and go from there i think our pitching looks fantastic um nobody's really progressing that much so we could potentially to replace chirinos we could go out and get a big name starter and by big name starter most likely someone around like the 84 rating so, so i guess not a big name more just like a, a solid arm that'll help us out in the rotation and then the bullpen's been decent um i feel like if we rock may, maybe someone to replace finnegan but we have let's see we've got suarez we're gonna have we have luke for another year no he's a free agent we have soriano we have quijada we have joyce we'll see we'll see i think a pitcher though and an outfielder is definitely the move all right postseason time we're taking on the orioles and we are in trouble we are eliminated by the orioles really all right dodgers defeat the orioles which is unfortunate um that we didn't we just couldn't get past the orioles so like what <laughs> okay um let's let's figure this what is what does drury want for one more year okay about eight mil he got eight and a half on his current deal i feel like that's perfectly fine chirinos what do you want for like a one-year situation five six mil i don't know I don't know about that will myers he's regressing pretty quickly even though the potential went up i feel like that's something we just got to walk away from uh whistler what do you want mill man i don't i don't know about a lot of these guys i feel like estevez hold on oh he's regressing i feel like i gotta keep him though he's been he's been fantastic for us four and a half mil really isn't the worst and if he does suck you know we move on muncie is someone that i am interested in what does he want because i feel like he even though we do have Drury, you know, Muncie does kind of help us out at that second base spot. Do we have a prospect currently that could help us out there? Yeah, no, Placencia is not there. Kevin Smith we signed, but realistically, he's not a guy that I want to turn to. Apostle, no. Paris, not yet. So I feel like, yeah, we we rock with um, what we've got going on. Maybe, maybe we do bring in Muncie. Or do we see what's available? Let's see what's available and then uh, if nothing, we'll go back to Muncie and a couple of the other guys that we released. So first base, we have Pete Alonzo, which would be a crazy move. But I think Drury along with ooh, Telez, that's also an interesting one. What about the third base options? What do we got? Muncie. I feel like Muncie, again, not a bad idea. And I did say an outfielder. Soto would be cool. But like Soto, Trout, Inman, not the best outfield defensively i feel like that's that's probably a bad idea tyler o'neill may maybe may maybe i don't i don't i don't know how i feel about that especially with all those minuses on the hitting stats that looks pretty bad that looks pretty bad kevin kiermeyer uh, is there really is there really nobody that we can get that'll help us out offensively verdugo's not really a, a center fielder uh, he does look good though and he, i think he would be a really good addition to this team it's just like man the team's just not gonna be good defensively which i mean verdugo and right wouldn't be bad in man and left trout and center but then like realistically how do how do you how do you work around that as trout gets older like verdugo is not a center fielder so i feel like we maybe tyler o'neill maybe but is there even someone that we could like potentially trade for that's like on an expiring contract fairly soon or just like on a really bad team? I don't think so. I, I, Bader. Yeah, there really there really isn't there really isn't much that we can like look at and try to get. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of we're kind of stuck with the options that are available, which is which is tough. But man, they're really really not much there not much there i guess i could check to see if verdugo really could play center field and that would be the that would be the main target i would go after not much changed in the off season except for shane bieber I brought him back to california and paid him a pretty penny for it so he i felt like we needed a good pitcher i felt like our prospects weren't developing as much as we would have liked and because of that, I felt like if we were trying to win right now, we should go out and get another pitcher that would help us elevate our staff to the next level. And Shane Bieber was that. And I felt like he was just one of the better pitchers available that we could go and get. I felt like that worked out with our rotation the best, especially with Tyler Anderson becoming a free agent at the end of the year on top of, you know, we still we still got a couple of years of some pitchers left. I just felt like it just it made sense 
it just made sense. I did also go out and get Verdugo. I've seen that he's been playing right field for the Red Sox. So I felt like we could throw him there. And then um, realistically, what I would probably do would put um, Inman in center field and move Trout to left field just because of the speed of JJ. I feel like we could get away with him in center field, even though his fielding and reaction isn't the best. He could make up with it with the speed. And then Trout, as he gets older, his speed drops and reactions and everything gets lower. We'd move him to left field. So that would probably be what we would do in the future. But uh, fielding's not regressing as quickly, so we'll leave Trout in center field for the time being. But that would probably be the plan moving forward. Uh, Verdugo is a five-year deal. I felt like that would work. Trout would move to left field. JJ would move to center field. And then offensively, you know, Walsh becomes a free agent soon. Rendon becomes a free agent soon. Muncy would become a free agent, the aging player. Also, Brandon Drury is a free agent after the season so the older players that we have are becoming free agents it opens up money and we could uh build the team that way because after this year our budget goes our salaries are down to 147 because as you can see we still have rendon we still have trout otani bieber and then verdugo and then the year after that it goes down to 106 so like after 2026 we're we're pretty clear besides trout otani and bieber and verdugo which i feel like those four i'm perfectly fine paying and we would just pay the other guys that we have on the team that we want to keep, which would realistically be JJ, Neto, Ohapi, um, maybe Renifo, keep him around if he keeps smashing lefties like he does. Some of the prospects would come up. I feel like we'd be doing pretty fine, especially with uh, our starting pitchers too. So I feel like this is a pretty good team. I feel like we're we're within budget pretty well. Uh, not actually this year we're we're pretty tight on the budget. I, I spent I spent some money, but I feel like we've got a good team. I feel like we should win it this year. This is. We're ranked fifth. They're 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 uh, they're uh, underrating us. This is the season. All right, we finished season 109 and 53. I would say that's a that's a pretty impressive season. Shane Bieber had the most innings pitched, and then Trout, Verdugo, Otani all had pretty good offensive seasons. You can see one and two for Verdugo and Trout in batting average awards. Hank Aaron Award, a Rookie of the Year, and a batting title. Trout wasn't in the mix for MVP. Devers with the Twins hit 55 home runs casually uh otani was in the mix didn't win it arenado won it on the other side oh man what would the cardinals do to have what yeah i mean our arenado's been bad this year in real life what would cardinals fans do to have arenado put up numbers like this soto with the marlins oh okay we've got grayson rodriguez winning cy young uh, shane bieber right behind him max reed wins it on the other side nico horner and trout are the batting title winners bautista and suarez relievers of the year and then rookie of the year goes to brandon lewis and our man JJ. That's what I like to see. Pitching wise, um, Berea should not be up. No, 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 no. Um, I, I had the extra bat up, and uh, it was Joe Adele. He wasn't great, but it the the pitchers, they just they just weren't doing it this year, unfortunately, and it sucked. And I didn't want to go out and trade for anybody because I actually liked the team. I could have turned to Suarez. That could have been a guy that I went to. I really wanted to get him involved. He just couldn't keep his ERA down. He just couldn't do it every single time i looked at it it was like a seven and i'm like i can't i can't i can't i just can't do it i can't do it um tyler anderson take a bow good stuff uh whew, andrew wants yes give me more of that adam simber i signed him to a one-year deal this year he was pretty solid like to see it have his innings but still got the job done jimmy hurrigan only got 10 innings but let me tell you he, he did the job. Quijada was fantastic in the 34 innings he had. David Bednar was fantastic. Also, crazy good. And then, I mean, Carlos, take a bow. You know what? Unsung hero right there. That's what I'm talking about. Even got his potential up to C. And then if you take a look at our starters, Otani, Shane Bieber, one, two punch. I mean, can't ask for much better. Then you got Reed Detmers, who's like, you know what? Don't forget about me. And then, of course, Patrick Sandoval wasn't as good as his previous season, but was still very consistent throughout the rebuild and then griffin canning kind of sucked might be someone that i look to let walk just because he hasn't been that great i feel like we could get someone a little bit better so lineup wise taylor ward only got 60 at bats really wasn't that great it might just be one of those things where you know what shake hands part ways didn't work out brandon drury not as good as previous years um but you know what not bad not bad i, I mean not bad not bad espinal is still pretty good as a bench bat, like this pickup for us. Stassi, backup catcher, can't ask for much more. Like, I wasn't expecting this kind of season again. You know, like, that's kind of crazy. Renifo still smashes lefties, love to see it. And then Joe Adele came up and was pretty garbage. So, 
Verdugo, our right fielder, leadoff guy, killed it. Almost a 400 on base percentage. We've got Otani, who hit 43 home runs with 35 doubles. So still absolutely smashing it. You've got Trout, who's going to be putting up some stupid numbers, some video game numbers for sure. Jared Walsh regressed a little bit, but still, you know what? I, I can't complain about that. This would be someone that I, if I can get for cheap, I would definitely bring him back. Like a three, four, five million dollar deal. Maybe even like the six, seven range. I'd be okay bringing him back just to hit righties. That's about it. Somehow Rendon's getting better. He's like a fine wine. I don't understand it. The power numbers are definitely going down, but everything else looks pretty good. I, I can't complain about that. Muncie was kind of a weird one. Average is low, but the on-base percentage is still pretty decent. So like, can't, can't complain too much. JJ, yeah. That's a good season. I love it. Yeah, 264, you probably look, oh, you could do a little bit better. He had a 360 on base percentage and 809 OPS. Like, let me see, 30 stolen bases too? More walks than strikeouts? What was the war for the season? Uh, where where are you? 1.1, probably because he had 12 errors. That's not, not ideal. Uh, Zach Neto had his best season as a pro. And then Logan O'Hoppy has been disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping for a little bit better, but he definitely was, he, he was good enough. He got the job done, and we are now facing the Mariners, division rival. Let's go take a look and see what they are rocking with. Nick Gordon, Yandy Diaz is a glitching franchise. O'Neal Cruz, what? All right, Gilbert, Castillo, ah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. So here we go. Let's uh, let's beat these guys. Yes, sir. Next up to the Twins. Who did the Twins have? The Twins usually make some moves. They have Devers. We know they have Devers. We saw that. Correa, Kirilov, Devers, Buxton, Schwarber. Okay. Krohn, Polanco, Teoscar. Okay. That's a team. They've also got Tim Anderson on the bench. Miles Straw. Those are two good franchise guys. Clayton Kershaw. Ooh, this is, this is a tough matchup. Um, who do I have pitching? Griffin Canning. Sorry. Not not happening not happening sorry all right here we go otani start us off right 12 to 1 otani i mean we reverse sweep them but like come on come on you can't be having that all right it's a braves angels matchup uh where are the braves all right let's see what we've got here ahmed rosario's new that's it ahmed rosario seth brown's on the bench oscar colas reese mcguire Okay. Oh, interesting. Alexis Diaz is a big pickup for them. Wow. Yeah, that's a good team. That's a strong team. This one's going to be tough. Do we have our matchups right? Bieber. Let's go Bieber. Maybe like, like that. Man, Bieber and Otani rocking almost 70 RAs is rough. Alrighty, come on, Bieber. I need you to win this. Did Bieber pitch this? No, Otani pitched this. This is a Bieber game. Yeah, there we go. And Detmers wins. And Otani wins. And now we're going to close it out at, uh, what is this? Tru Truist is, uh, can, uh, let's see. Let's rock the, the old school grays. Truist Park. That's right. That's Truist Park. I couldn't remember if it was Truist Park or Truist Stadium. And we're going to go Bieber. I know he's been garbage. Otani is tired. He is exhausted. But you know what? Nah, just skip it. He's, he's playing the game and he's going to be a menace. He's going to be a menace to everybody. He's going to fly out. That's, that's fine too. But first and second, nobody scores. I just need Bieber to pitch well, and then I need the offense to get on base, and we'll score some runs. That's not good. Yeah, that's that's not good. Two run score. It's okay. It's all right. I've, it's still early. We got two on with Trout, who is like the least clutch player in baseball. Like if you look if you look up his numbers, he's he's just he's not clutch. He's not clutch. Just no clutch factor. No clutch gene. Nothing. It's the opposite of clutch. He's unclutch, non-clutch, whatever you want to call it. Double play double play are we serious double play first and second for otani runner was the why are we sending them with no outs just leave the bases loaded that is a terrible send fire the third base coach and then trout strikes out <sighs> okay two run score again all right just you know what keep people in there make them suffer make them get through it we are down five and oh jj brings us back it is a new ball game we're back in it it's feeling good. Verdugo get on base. Nope. Otani walks. Trout. This is this is the moment. You're 0 for 3. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. This is the offense I was looking for. And now switch righty righty. Let's go, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Stolen base? Stolen base. Um. Kihada, I need you. That's what I'm talking about. Muncie. 
versus Nick Anderson grounds out. JJ out. Neto walks. And it's okay. That's all right. All right. So let's go to the... Let's go Simber. A walk right there was not ideal. I'm not going to lie. That was That's not a good way to start the inning. They're going to go Joe Jimenez. A single. Yo, Verdugo at the top of the lineup is a glitch. First and second for Walshy. Does nothing. I'm getting greedy here with Simber going too. And I get out of it. Perfect. Muncie, the double... Yes. Um, do I pinch run? What's Espinal's speed? 46? What about Renifo? 59. Do we not? I mean, Joe Adela, I guess. Um, top nine. I feel like that's a that's an important runner out there. Yeah, let's go. JJ, I need you here. Flies out. Neto. There we go. Zach Neto brings him in. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now we need a substitution. We need to take out Joe Adel. And who's the best fielder on the team? Oh, Espinal? 100%. All right, pitching change. It's the man, the unsung hero of the rebuild. Ground out, strike out, one run scores. Okay, so that's that's not good. One run scores, they walk it off. Ah, oh, man, I, I had to jinx them. I jinxed them. I jinxed them. I did. I did. I jinxed them. That was my fault. That was my fault, 100%. Um, Sandoval, let's, let's close this out, man. Let's start us off right. Yep, love to see it. No run score, one... First and second. Love it. Love it. Love it. Single. All right. Fielder's choice. Come on. Where's where's the offense, guys? Let's get it going. This is a good offensive team. And we're playing like we're the Oakland Athletics. Like, this is unacceptable. Holy cow. Really? Nothing? That's a good start. That's a that's a better start. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then you hit it to a double play. But Otani brings in the run anyways. Second and third for Walshy. And he brings in two. That's a four run fifth. Can we make it a five run fifth? We can't. But I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. The double play too. And then JJ with the solo shot makes it five runs. First and second for Otani. He pops up. Trout walks. Loads the bases for Jared Walsh. He's two for three on the day. Make it two for four. All right. Um, Sandoval's pitching. I like it. They did They did pitch Yanoa in a pretty important game, which sus. They're also letting him go into the eighth with a... Oh, that's a lie. They didn't start with Yanoa. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. Why did I think that happened? But Otani brings in the run. And uh, yeah, there we go. Why did I think they started with Yanoa? They didn't start with Yanoa. That was really dumb of me to think, <laughs> to think that. That's not how it worked at all. Um, first and second, we've got JJ up. He flies out. Neto gets out. I'm going to let Sandoval go. Like, he's been balling. We're going to let him go. There it is. Patrick Sandoval. Complete game shutout. Five strikeouts. Six hits. Desclafani was the one who started the game. Desclafani was the one that lost them the game. And now our MVP is Jared Walsh. And JJ was the playoff MVP. Love to see it. Mike Trout. Four home runs, 12 RBIs. Jared Walsh, 529 in the World Series. Love to see it. Pitching-wise, some suspect ERAs and whips. Some good ones, especially Patrick Sandoval. Definitely that last game lowered it for sure. But look at the bullpen. Yes, Quijada struggled a little bit. Yes, Estevez had that one blown save. But overall, the bullpen held it down for once. And you look at the starting lineup. Look at that offense. Rendon kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty disappointing. JJ, though. JJ's the man. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped about JJ. To get him, to give us that outfielder for that season, that's what we needed. I hope you enjoyed the Angels realistic rebuild. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I felt like we have this team that's good enough to win a World Series quickly, that we could do it. Plus, I felt like getting that generational talent fit a spot perfectly, and it helped out like way too well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.